These businessmen want to send a message to Congress, and that message will be in the form of keys. Uh, they are symbolic of the cars that you can't afford to buy, of the homes that you can't afford to buy. All say they're just examples of small business people who are hurting because of the high cost of money. Realtor Blair Smith says home buyers can't qualify. As mortgage money interest rates have gone higher and higher, we've had less and less sales. Now we're into the area where financing in new uh, loans is almost non-existent. Jim Ward says many car dealers have been singing the blues. If we can get the interest rates down, we would stock more automobiles. We would be able to sell more automobiles because then you could afford to buy them. The payments would be less. That way, the manufacturing process would go on. Unemployment <coughs> would decrease. We'd be back to manufacturing cars back like we used to. We want Reagan administration and the federal government to stick to the game plan, and that is keep the federal deficit to $42.5 billion in 1982 and balance the budget in 1984. We're convinced that interest rates will not come down, the rate of inflation will not come down until that's done. By sending keys to Washington, realtors, bankers, home builders, car dealers, and other small businessmen are hoping to underline a message that undoubtedly President Reagan and Congress have heard before, that the key to unlocking the economy is to force interest rates down. Now, people are invited to bring their keys here in Hampton to the Chamberlain Hotel, Friday at 6 p.m. for a mass rally. In Hampton, Don Roberts, The Daily News.